everyone welcome to my channel this is my take on a cabri nail to start with i'm using nsi cocoa dust to make the chocolate bar you want to make this thick enough for the cotton to dent but not to look to look bulky make sure you get the same thickness along the whole nail Once it's done, leave it to go matte before you use the cotton to cut, to cut the shape in. With the cotton, make sure it's dipped in clear acrylic so it won't stick to it. This is a little bit awkward while it's on a stand. On a nail, it's so much easier. As you can see, I've put it on my resin dish to make it stand a bit more easier. Make sure you're right across the nail with the cotton, indenting it and go right down the nail to make the squares for the chocolate. Don't worry if anything lifts. Once it, you've gone right across the nail, we can dab it down with our brush again. Getting a bit of foil from the Cabri bot, but I used a uh, Easter egg, and that's how I got this foil. Rip it to a section that you know you want to stick on the bar. Then using a bit of clear acrylic, put it across the nail into the shape that you want. I've gone across just under the top to right across, so it looks like it's being ripped apart. You don't need a lot of clear acrylic, just a little bit to help it stick. Place on the nail in the shape that you want. And then press firmly to make sure it adheres. So when you touch the top of the nail, you will feel the dent underneath. I also scrumpled the foil a little bit, just so it looked more like realistic. Press it down, making sure you go right across the nail and sort of tucking it under the nail while it sets. What I did going for the top, I used my nails and a tool just to lift the foil a little bit so you saw the underside. So it did generally look as if like it would if you ripped it off your Easter egg. And then leave this to set. Once it's set, you can start ripping the excess foil off. Do this gently as not to pull any excess off the actual nail because you won't really be able to stick it back without it looking bulky. Don't worry about it too much because you will go around with the your hand file as well to soften any rough edges. Try and file in one direction, don't go back and forth because you could rip the foil. Once that's done, we're ready to top coat. My favourite top coat is Claw Culture, the no white, no white top coat even. Make sure you get all edges and cap completely just because we won't be using any clear acrylic on it because when i've tried this either the acrylic or the monomer um, changes the foil the 
And once that's done, stick it in the lamp for 60 seconds and that nail is complete. Right, so this nail is my marble nail. So two coats of white gel polish cured in between each coat. I like that to then put a, a new white top coat on just so when you draw it on anything, it's easier to wipe straight off if any mistakes. You can use shiny or matte, it's your choice. Then I've got a pink and a purple permanent marker just because they're the cabbie colours. Start from corner to corner, just doing little marks, making sure not to leave too much white in the section you're going so it looks like a wave. Right, so I've got a little dampened dish with a tiny bit of acetone in. You don't need much. And just a small brush. Dab off any excess and then just tap your colours so that it'll sort of disperse. The acetone dries instantly so don't worry too much about it. If you see any little bits you're not 100% sure on, don't worry, you can always go over and redo it. For me on this, I was trying not to have too many harsh lines because I wanted it to look like a, a river going down, so not, not too sharp. I could just do this for hours doing this. Just colouring it in and expressing it. Just looks so pretty. Once you're happy with your result, I got rose gold from Claw Culture again. Just an amazing colour. It's closest I could get as well to the gold in Cabri's. Just go down the edges of your marble, just so your edges stand out. Some colours you will have to do it two layers of it, but with these you don't need to because they're so pigmented. The brush I'm using is a called Bowen from eBay. I think it's 11 millimetres. It's the smallest one in the pack of three. After I'd done the outline, I started bringing the colour in a tiny little bit as if it was marble and effect extra. So as you move the nail round, you just get hints of marble, like rose gold marble in the actual marble. Once 
everyone's happy with this top coat again mine's claw culture non-white top coat put in the lamp for 60 seconds and your nails done Thanks for watching. Part two will be up soon. Thanks.